हेलो एवरीवन इस वीडियो में मैं आप लोगों के साथ रीसेंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट से रिलेटेड एमसीक्यूज डिस्कस करूंगी जो आपको अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन में फॉर श्योर हेल्प करेगा सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन विच के सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्टक डाउन 97th अमेंडमेंट एक्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड नाइन्टी अमेंडमेंट एक्ट वॉज एक्चुअली रिलेटेड टू द कोपरेटिव सोसाइटीज एंड द केस नेम इज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया वर्सेज राजेंद्र शाह एंड अदर्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन दिस केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट अपहेल्ड अ टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन जजमेंट ऑफ गुजरात हाई कोर्ट विच स्टक डाउन द प्रोविजन ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नाइन्टी सेवन अमेंडमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड इलेवन टू द एक्सटेंट इट इंट्रोड्यूस पार्ट नाइन बी इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन टू डील विद द कोपरेटिव सोसाइटीज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच रिसेंट केस लॉ रिलेटेड टू पार्डनिंग पावर ऑफ द गवर्नर एंड द लॉ रिलेटेड टू द पार्डनिंग पावर ऑफ गवर्नर इज स्टेट ऑफ हरियाणा वर्सेज राजकुमार एलियास बिट्टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन दिस केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैड ऑब्जर्व दैट द पावर ऑफ द गवर्नर अंडर आर्टिकल वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी वन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन has power to commute sentence and to pardon this power will override the restriction imposed under section 433a of crpc of criminal civil uh, criminal procedure code so this is also important judgment next case is uh, what is the name of the case uh, which is related to the pegasus snooping controversy uh, which was uh, in news recently Uh, so the case name is ml sharma versus union of india 2021 in this case supreme court discussed the scope of judicial review in the matters pertaining to the national security which is the famously called the pegasus case uh, next question is uh, which case related to the grant of permanent commission to the women in indian army and this was also a very landmark judgment and the case name is the secretary ministry of defense versus babita punia and others 2021 supreme court so uh, this case was very important in this case supreme court ordered the the grant of permanent commission to women in 10 non combat services units in 3 months and held them to be eligible to hold command posts it also provide equal opportunity for women in the indian army by providing them the long term job security and the related case is also the kush kalara versus union of india 2021 in this case division bench of the supreme court comprising justice sanjay kishan kohl uh, justice Sh- sanjay kishan kohl and harishikesh roy Rishikesh Roy passed the interim direction permitting the women candidate to take part in the NDA examination. So, Kush Kalra case was relating uh, to NDA examination, but the permanent commission case is uh, Secretary, the Ministry of Defence versus Babita Punia. Next question is: In which recent judgment Supreme Court held right to property is still a constitutional right under Article three hundred? a of the indian constitution uh, so this is a uh, very important uh, because after 44th amendment uh, constitutional act uh, right to property ceased to become uh, ceased to be a fundamental right and then it become only a constitutional right because of article 300a and recently in the case of bajranga versus the state of madhya pradesh uh, 2021 supreme court held that right to property is still a constitutional right under article 300a of indian constitution so it's not that right to property is not available at all rather uh, now right to property is a constitutional right under article 300a of indian constitution next question what is the name of the case related to the cctv installation in the police station and the case name is paramveer singh sani versus baljeet singh 2021 in this case supreme court gave direction relating to the cctv installation in the police station next question uh, what is the name of the controversial judgment uh, of bombay high court in which bombay high court held that no sexual assault uh, will be committed if there is no skin to skin contact even with the sexual intent so it was a very controversial judgment uh, recently in news and the case name is satish ragde versus state of maharashtra 
2021 and in this case uh, bombay high court held this which was later criticized by the supreme court as well next question is in which case supreme court held that the fundamental right to life is available to the under trial prisoners as well and uh, this is also relating to the uh, recent judgment in case of kerala union of working journalist versus the union of india which is famously known as the siddi kappan case uh, who is a journal- journalist actually uh, this case is of 2021 in this case supreme court held that fundamental right to life is available to under trial prisoners as well and this is protected under article 21 of indian constitution next question is which case law related to the freedom of media uh, in which case actually supreme court held that freedom of media is a sign qua non for the democracy recently and uh, the judgment name is the chief election commissioner of india versus mr vijay bhaskar and others 2021 Uh, this is also very landmark judgment in which case supreme court held that freedom of media is a sign qua non for the democracy under article 19 sub clause 1 sub clause a and media can media has right to cover the court proceeding this was held in the in this case so this is a very landmark judgment relating to the article 19 sub clause 1 sub clause a next question is uh, which case is related to the uh, professional education is not a fundamental right in which case supreme court recently held that professional education is not a fundamental right so basic education is a fundamental right under article uh, 21a of indian constitution which was added by 86th amendment act and in that uh, the age limitation is from 6 uh, to 14 years of age uh, for the child of 6 to 14 years of age in a recent judgment of farzana batool versus union of india 2022 the court was of the opinion that though the professional education is not included under under the fundamental rights guaranteed by the constitution but the state has an affirmative obligation to facilitate access to education at all levels the professional education is not a fundamental right to claim but uh, yes this is a part of the directive principles of state policy which impose the obligation upon the state to provide to facilitate the access to education at all levels next question uh, which case law is related uh, to the right to internet access in which case supreme court uh, Uh, held that right to internet access is a fundamental right basically and the answer is anuradha bashan versus union of india uh, 2020 supreme court this was also a landmark judgment in which case supreme court held that right to internet access is a fundamental right under article 19 sub clause 1 sub clause a and uh, and this right cannot be abrogated without any reasonable ground because article uh, 19 sub clause 1 sub clause a uh, is subjected to the reasonable restrictions provided under article 19 sub clause 2 but without any reasonable restriction it cannot uh, this fundamental right cannot be violated next question is in which case supreme court uh, laid down the law relating to the live streaming of court proceeding and the case name is swapnil tripathi versus supreme court of india 2018 uh, in this case supreme court had ruled in favor of opening up the apex court through the live streaming this was also an important case relating to the live streaming of court proceedings next question Uh, which case law related to the daughter is the co-partner by birth in hindu co-partnery and uh, the recent uh, landmark judgment relating to this point is vinita sharma versus rakesh sharma 2020 supreme court in which case supreme court held that do- daughter is a co-partner by birth in hindu co-partnery property it is not necessary that uh, her father must be living at the time uh, when this amendment 2005 amendment act was came into force and uh, the previous judgment previous judgment relating to this point was prakash versus phulawati and in this case in that case supreme court uh, held that 
only the living daughters of living co-partner can be uh, the daughter under Hindu co-partnery property and that they, they can only have benefit of section 6 of Hindu Succession Act. But now in Vinita Sharma versus Rakesh Sharma 2020, Supreme Court held that daughter is co-partner by birth itself and it is not necessary that her father must be living at that time when that uh, amendment 2005 came into force. So this is very landmark judgment in favor of Hindu daughter as a co-partner. The other case uh, relating to the uh, female year is Aruna Chala Gowder versus uh, Dead by LRs versus Pondu Swami and others. It is 2022 judgment of Supreme Court and in this case court held that if a male Hindu dies in the state leaving behind self-acquired property, such self-acquired property would devolve, would devolve by inheritance and its devolution shall not be by way of survivorship. Because survivorship was abrogated by the 2005 Amendment Act in the Hindu Succession Act, further the daughter of such a Hindu male would be entitled to inherit such self-acquired property. So this judgment is also important with the relation uh, with the relation to the uh, succession in Hindu Succession Act. Next question is: In which case right to privacy declared the fundamental right? And very famous case, Justice K. S. Putta Swami retired versus Union of India, 2017, uh, 2017 Supreme Court. It was a nine judges bench judgment in which case Supreme Court held that right to life and personal liberty under Article 21 includes right to privacy, and it clearly uh, declares right to privacy as a fundamental right. And by this judgment, uh, the previous judgment of M. P. Sharma and Kharak Singh case now overruled. Next question, in which case Supreme Court held that 100% reservation is unconstitutional and the case name is Shebrulu Leela Prasad Rao and others versus State of Andhra Pradesh and others 2020 Supreme Court. In this judgment, Supreme Court held that 100% reservation to the scheduled tribe candidate out of whom 33 point uh, 3% shall be women for the post of teachers in the school in the scheduled areas in the state of Andhra Pradesh is not constitutionally valid. Next question is in which case Supreme Court held that right to reside and settle in this country guaranteed under article 19 sub clause 1 sub clause a is available only to the indian citizens and the case name is muhammad salimullah versus union of india 2021 supreme court in this case supreme court re rejected the rohingya refugees constitutional right to remain in india and allow their deportation by the government of india following the legal procedure Court held that fundamental right to reside and settle in this country guaranteed under Article 19, sub clause 1, sub clause E is available only to the Indian citizens, which is concomitant to the right against deportation. So the Rohingya refugees cannot claim this right to reside in India because they are not Indian citizens. Next question is in which uh, in which case Supreme Court declared the Maratha Gota Reservation unconstitutional in nature and the case name is Jayashree Lakshman Rao Patil versus Chief Minister and others. It was decided on 5th May 2021 and it was a 5 judges bench judgment. In this case Maratha Gota Reservation declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. Supreme Court held that only the President has the power to notify a particular caste as socially and educationally backward class. The state has lost their power to identify backward classes under their territory after the 102nd Amendment Act, Second, uh, 102nd Amendment uh, Constitutional Act and the judgment, uh, the dissenting judgment in this case was given by Justice Ashok Bhushan and Justice Abdul Nazir. Actually, 102nd Amendment was relating to the uh, National Commission for Backward Classes. Article 338B was added in the Indian Constitution and uh, in uh, this 102nd Constitutional Amendment Act, it was provided that only the center, the president can notify a particular caste to be a socially and educationally backward 
class and note the state so state has no power to identify backward classes but uh, and the same uh, and on the basis of 100 second constitutional amendment act judgment was given by the supreme court in this jashri lakshman rao patil case which is famously known as the maratha kota case but after this judgment uh, legislation come up with the 105th constitutional amendment act 2021 which is the 127th constitutional amendment bill and by this amendment uh, legislation now has restores the power of state government to identify and specify socially and educationally backward classes and this has now inserted the proviso to the article 338b and now this has amended the article 342a and 366 sub clause 26c and this 105th constitutional amendment act was enforced on 5th of august 2021 actually 105th constitutional amendment act was affected by the legislation to nullify the effect of this uh, maratha kota case and the 102nd constitutional amendment act in case of uh, vikas kisan kisan rao gawali versus state of maharashtra 2021 in this case supreme court held that obc reservation cannot exceed the 50% and supreme court has laid down a triple test to be complied with by the state before reserving the seat in the local bodies for the other backward classes in this case next important question is in which the supreme court uh, in which case supreme court declared the transgender people as the third gender Uh, so it was recognized in the case of national legal services authority versus union of india 2014 which was a very landmark judgment uh, uh, relating to the transgender people right and transgender people recognized as the third gender and karnataka has become the first state in the country to provide a 1% reservation for the transgender community in all the government services in the case of natej singh johar and others versus union of india 2018 this was also a very landmark judgment in which case uh, supreme court held that uh, decriminalized all consensual sex among the adults including the homosexual act and by this the section 377 of indian penal code which are which was actually criminalizing the Uh, consensual uh, sex between the homosex couples now that has been read down next important uh, question is in which case the supreme court discussed the concept of house arrest in which recent judgment actually so the question uh, the answer is uh, the recent judgment name is gotam navlakha versus national investigation agency 2021 in this case supreme court held that it would be open to the court to order house arrest under section 167 of criminal procedure code which is basically relating to the remand uh, of police custody um, considering the factors relating to age health conditions antecedents of the accused nature of the crime the need for other forms of custody and the ability to enforce the term of house arrest so now supreme court held that under section 167 of crpc court may order house arrest of the person not only the police custody or the judicial custody but there may be the house arrest as well under section 167 of crpc and that period will also be counted for the uh, default bail which is granted under section 167 of crpc next question is what is the name of the case relating to decriminalization of adultery which was provided under section 497 of indian penal code and the case name is uh, joseph shine versus union of india 2018 supreme court and now in this case supreme court held that uh, section 497 relating to the adultery is unconstitutional in nature and now that is no more a offense but adultery is still a ground of divorce under the personal law some previous judgment relating to the adultery was uh, yusuf aziz versus state of bombay somitri vishnu versus union of india 
and V. Revati v. Union of India, in which case uh, the adultery was declared as constitutional in nature. And but recently in 2018, in Joseph Shine case, now it is declared unconstitutional. Next question is uh, which recent case is related to the juvenile offenders? And the case name is Devi Lal v. State of Madhya Pradesh, 2021. In this case, uh, Supreme Court held that juvenile offenders under the age of 18 years of age and above 16 years of age to be remitted to the jurisdictional juvenile justice board. Next question is, in which case, uh, which case is related to the constitutional validity of SCST Act? So uh, this question is also relating to the recent judgment and the recent judgment relating to this point is Prithvi Raj Chauhan v. Union of India 2020 Supreme Court. In this case, Supreme Court held the constitutional validity of SC Act, SC Act, ST Act 1989. Three judges bench of the Supreme Court upheld the constitutional validity of Section 18A of SCST Amendment Act 2018 so basically constitutional validity uh, held constitutional validity of section 18A of SCST Amendment Act 2018 is held in this case and uh, last question is in which case Supreme Court held that reservation is not a fundamental right recently uh, so the answer is in the case of Mukesh Kumar and others versus State of Uttarakhand and others 2020 Supreme Court. In this case Supreme Court held that reservation is not a fundamental right. The court held that there is no fundamental right to claim reservation in promotion in, promotion in the public post. So reservation is not a fundamental right uh, to claim in promotions in public post. So these were some of the landmark judgment of the Supreme Court of 2020 and 2021 and some relating to the 2022 and I will also come up with the other recent Supreme Court judgment MCQ of 2022 soon. So if you want to keep updated uh, of these relevant videos, subscribe this channel and like this video. I hope this video will help you. Thanks for watching.